A paralyzed man can walk again, thanks to a revolutionary chip in his brain. What else could be possible with brain-computer interfaces or short BCIs? Typing mails only using your thoughts? Or even save your memories and replay them at any time? Well, some of this is already possible, and if you ask Elon Musk, the sky is the limit. His startup Neuralink has recently been cleared to test their brain chips on, or more accurately, in humans. But how do these devices even work? To put it simply, BCIs are connected to your brain, either from outside or inside your skull. Electrodes communicate with the neurons in your brain and monitor the signals. These signals are then processed by an algorithm and turned into commands. In other words, the BCI translates your thoughts. With a chip like that, you can, for example, operate computers or smartphones. You could play video games or prepare a presentation for work without using your hands. Or imagine a conversation without speaking and instead communicating by reading each other's thoughts. And these devices could also monitor your health and warn you of the risk of a heart attack, for example. If you think this sounds like science fiction, you're not entirely wrong. Everyday uses of BCIs like these are still up in the air. However, they are not too far-fetched from today's tech. In the medical field, brain-computer interfaces are already being tested with great success. BCIs helping people with disabilities. Being able to use a computer could be a real game changer for paralyzed people. Recently, researchers from Switzerland even made it possible for a paralyzed man to walk again. They implanted two devices into the patient's body, one in the head and the other one on his spinal cord. These implants communicate wirelessly. The patient's movement intentions are picked up by the brain device and decoded in real time through algorithms based on adaptive artificial intelligence. The intentions are then converted into electrical stimulation of the spinal cord. This activates the leg muscles which then move. The device allows this man to stand, walk and even climb stairs again. How else could this tech be used? If it's possible to decode signals from the brain, then the other direction is also thinkable. Stimulating the brain with external commands can create even more applications. This method is called deep brain stimulation. For example, Neuralink is exploring tech to make blind people see again. Signals of a camera could be converted into stimulation to allow blind people to get a picture of their surroundings. Using BCIs, researchers can potentially also recognize signals of epileptic seizures and in turn send stimulation to prevent them. There are also high hopes when it comes to treating neurological conditions such as depression, schizophrenia or addiction. However, there are some concerns when it comes to BCIs. The procedure of implanting a chip into your brain bears the risk of severely damaging it. Translating thoughts also raises questions about data safety. How and where is data recorded from your brain stored? And what could tech companies do with it? Just imagine targeted ads based on your private thoughts. Would you let Elon Musk into your brain? Let us know.